afternoon baseball set to come your way on a fine afternoon on the south side. Lucas Giolito will do the pitching in game three of the series. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, this guy's done a real good job on the year keeping the opponent's batting average down. Both righties and lefties coming into this one, hitting under 250 against this guy. He's been good all season long. Digging in will be number 21. He's gone over his first six at bats in the series so far. Now the pitch. Gets ahead of him here as he got him to swing over the top of this one. Fellas, these White Sox, as they enter play today, they come in not exactly setting the world on fire as they've dropped five of their last eight ball games. Yeah, Matt, things haven't gone too well so far in this series, d -Row. They're looking to avoid the sweep here in this one. Yeah, get, they got to get off in the early innings. It's, it's going to be monumental if they can push a few runs across and give this pitcher a chance to relax. The 1-2. A fastball that misses. I know he missed with a fastball right there, but this guy's arsenal. You can't figure out what he's trying to do. He's got a lot of different directions he could go in right here. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. Toward the gap in right center. This is going to be a base hit, and he may take that big turn at first. And that'll bring up J.D. Martinez. Past history with Lucas Giolito. He's a 375 hitter. Got him swinging, and that's the third out. Last half of the second set to go, and that'll give way to the veteran second baseman, Cesar Hernandez. High pop-up. And this is taken in for out number one. So next to bat will be number 21. He's got runners at the corners here with only one gun. He's set and the pitch fouled off. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout this guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. Fouled away. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back to back. In the dirt and blocked behind the plate. So the lead runner holds on, but the trailer will take second. Flowecki at third, Verdugo at second with one away. And this is taken for a ball high and tight. Two and two. It looked like he tried to get him to chase on that pitch there. One and two. A good idea. But I think now he has to challenge him a little bit. He doesn't want to get into a worse situation with the cleanup guy up next. Reaches down and hits this one on the ground to short. Come on, buddy. And the throw Come on. goes to first for the out. But that will be enough to get the run home as they pull back to even at one and one. Digging in, the switch hitter, Johan Moncada. He's working on a one-for-two game so far. A bouncer up the middle. And that's the second out. And now in the box, number 21. He's singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Offense needs to get going right here. You want to try and tighten up this game a little bit before it starts to get into that territory where you're going to start seeing the back end of each bullpen. A bouncer to the left side. Moncada has it. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Now at the plate, here is Adam Engel. He hit a two-bagger and later scored in his previous plate appearance. Hit on the ground is short. Throw oh, me in time as he reaches it first. And that just looked like a really tough play right there. Had a little trouble getting it out of his glove, and it cost him. It made all the difference right there, boys. He had to be perfect.
So stepping in is number 21. Two away here in the eighth, and time's running out on him, Danny. Yeah, they don't have a lot of outs left to work with, so it's time for someone to make something happen if they're going to get back into this thing. One and oh, the count. The pitch. Good zip on that one as he just throws it by him for strike one. They love the confidence in that pitch right there, going right after one of the better hitters on this team, not afraid to execute. And he's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. Two and two. He is in complete command out on the mound today. He's got all four corners locked in, and now he's raising eye levels to boot. Hit in the air to center field. Robert is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Well, this one had its moments of drama and excitement. In the end, these guys came away with the victory and look on to the next one. And the score finishes. Now, from the Soto District of downtown Seattle, we've got baseball on. Stepping up is Dom Thompson Williams. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Line drive snagged on a short hop. Throw on to first in time, one away. Three. Ball four, take the base. Stepping in next, number 21. In yesterday's game, he was responsible for the only run driven in by his club. First pitch coming, here it is. And here's a ball hit in the air. On the run is Henniger, but this will land untouched. Well off the inside that time as the sinker misses for a ball. And, fellas, you take a look at these Seattle Mariners at the start of play here tonight. They come into this one off a loss that finally snapped what was a long, long winning streak. Hey, thanks, Matt. You know what, Dior? you got to give this team a lot of credit. They're on the outside looking in on the postseason picture. But, boy, they're playing out the string and they're playing out well. They're going to play this thing all the way to the end of the season. You know, Dan, I can't speak for the pitcher side of it, but I have never... So back to the top of the Seattle lineup, digging in, Dom Thompson-Williams. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Reined in. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. So next to hit is number 21. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. First pitch on its way. High in the air out towards shallow right. And that's taken in straightaway right. Will he try from second? Mitch Hanniger the next to bat. Drew a base on balls his first time up. A swing and a ground ball to third. Scooped up. And the throw is not going to be in time as he's able to reach base safely. Striding in for Boston, number 21. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. That had to be in the scouting report right there. You don't see too many 0-0 breaking ball ambushes in the game anymore. He had to know that pitch was coming. So a runner at first now with one away, and that'll bring up outfielder Hunter Renfro. There goes the runner. But he's safe at first as he gets back in time. We're in the sixth inning here in a three to one ball game. On the move again from first. Sent in the air out to straightaway central. In there, a base hit. On the back, pick it up, pick it up. And they'll have runners at the corners following the one out single. Dan, right here you see a situation where no doubles defense can, comes back to bite you as a pitcher. 
Are you even aware when guys are playing a foot off the track? I'll be honest with you, D-Roy. You're so concerned about on the mound trying to get that white ball to that dark brown or black glove that I never really ever turned around to even know it's where they were playing. I was concerned about getting the guy out swinging the bat. Swinging a soft liner. And the throw to first will be in time, so the Red Sox come. So here is number 21. He's working on a one for three thus far. Now the first pitch. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0-1. It's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high. That could be an effective location as long as he keeps it above the letters. Well behind that fastball, it's a swinging strike. Yeah, if he's going to pound the zone with this stuff all game, the offense better step up. Somebody's going to have to pull a trigger a little bit earlier in the count. Popped him up. Crawford is there for it. And he's got it for the final out of the frame. Red Sox go down one, two, three. They still trail it here, four to three. And it's a four to three finish in this evening's.